Welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. Um, we're doing a new unboxing, and this is for NerdBlock's Arcade Block. Now, the thing that's interesting on this is NerdBlock has recently started a new program where you can uh, add in a and basically try a new block for much, much more discounted price. Um, usually, it's like $9.99 plus shipping, so probably about 15 bucks total to get the block. So, if you ever want to try a block such as the Arcade Block, the Horror Block, stuff like that, you can take advantage of their new program. So uh, I decided to give the arcade block a shot since we have never really looked at one and don't know what's in there. And I enjoy video games, so I figured it might be a little interesting. So for those who don't know, Nerd Block, Arcade Block, Horror Block, Comic Block, Sci-Fi Block, uh, they're all a geek service. So you pay mm, like usually like 20 bucks plus shipping and stuff like that. It comes out to probably about 25, 30 dollars total with shipping uh, depending on what program you get. And you get a uh, box of stuff sent to you every single month. Now you don't know what you're going to get. It usually has a theme. Um, I don't know what the theme of this arcade block is, but it just says grab block inside. So um, I don't know if this is going to be a regular one or it's going to be something special, but we're just going to crack it open and see what's in there. Now the first things first is the box for those who might uh, have noticed and been a little observant is done up like an old S, you know, Nintendo Entertainment. I was about to say SNES, but uh, Nintendo Entertainment Service, um, the original awesome game system. So uh, that's I gotta give them some points on that one. It's actually kind of a cool thing, uh, and it might be worth just getting a block to try out just to get the box if you are a fan. So let's actually open this up and show off what's inside. Um, so keep in mind, this is all kind of video game uh, focused. First things first, we have a t-shirt of Konami's Counter-Strike. The old school Nintendo box covers. That's kind of cool. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the old school uh, Nintendo uh, covers for their games. So uh, getting a t-shirt like this is, is kind of cool. And um, I might wear it. I, I don't know. It's kind of on that on that like on that line of whether or not I'm going to be totally keen on checking out. But for video game fans, I imagine they're probably going to dig it. So next we've got a pop figure from Evolve. Uh, this is Maggie. Uh, I don't really know the game. I haven't played the game at all. So uh, this one is kind of like over my head. But pop figures, super popular. People, um, a lot of the boxes include them. So, uh, you know, you can build up a collection pretty easily by subscribing to these boxes. So since I don't really know the game, I don't really know the characters, I don't really care, uh, this is definitely going to be some eBay fodder for me, but uh, it's cool. I mean, people enjoy their pops, and, you know, if you're a video game fan, you're probably going to dig this one. Let's see what else we got. We got Portal 2 Magnet Sets. Now, I'm a huge fan of Portal. Um, I think it's probably one of the most fun games out there. Um, really entertaining. It's a great game that you can give to people who aren't really into video games. It's as much of puzzles, uh, dexterity races, everything else. Um, so yeah, so we've got some nice various magnets that kind of depict some um, great times. We've got a uh, uh, companion cube hitting someone on the head. We've got, of course, a piece of cake. We've got the portals themselves. Kind of a neat uh, magnet set. This one's probably going to be keeper. This will go up on my fridge most likely. I think we probably could have been a bit more creative with the magnets themselves, but I'm not going to knock them too much. Uh, we've got a Street Fighter Ryu keychain LED torch with a uh, Hadouken sound. Oh, oh, that didn't really help. Um, so yeah, uh, I see what I've got. Not bad, kind of, kind of neat. Definitely, if you're a Street Fighter fan, I could see you digging it. Um, I haven't played Street Fighter in a really, really long time. Love the game, but it's been quite a few years since I've tried it, so whatever. Um, this one's actually kind of awesome. So this will probably wind up on uh, somewhere, either a window or a car. We've got a blue shell on board car um, sign. So just like the baby on board and everything else, my kids in high school, honor student, all that crap. We do have a fun blue shell on board sign. I kind of like it. This one's a keeper just because it's fun, goofy, and I appreciate some Mario Kart. Finally, we've got 
Sonic Worlds Unite Battles, number one, arcade block variants. Now, this one's a kind of awesome one for me. I'm, of course, a comic book fan, first and foremost. Um, gaming, very close in second. Uh, so, a variant comic is always appreciated. This one is Sonic Worlds Unite Battles. Um, Archie had this huge crossover that involved Sonic, uh, Mega Man, and a whole bunch of Capcom characters in Worlds Unite. So, uh, we get one of the comics with the variants. Variants are always a great thing and always entertaining. So, that's actually pretty cool, and I really, really appreciate that one. Um, so, yeah, but overall, this isn't that bad. Whether or not this is a normal arcade block, I couldn't tell you. Uh, they give really no indication on that one. So, um, but for the 10 bucks or whatever to give it a shot, it's, I think, worth it. So there's also a comic block, horror block, arcade block, nerd block, nerd block junior, and of course their new sci-fi block, which uh, just launched and the first one just came out. So um, overall, if like you are a video game fan, I think it's worth it. Uh, there's probably a lot of stuff in here and you appreciate it much more than I. Like, I enjoy my video games. I'm not a diehard gamer or video game player anymore. Um, moved on to boards and... and and comics, board games and comics, so um, I consider myself a gamer and appreciate it, of course, so uh, overall, it's kind of a cool idea, uh, it gives you a chance to check out the various Nerdblock offerings for not much uh, in it, so uh, this was RK Block from Nerdblock, we've of course got the variant comic, we've got the blue shell on board, portal magnets, street fighter keychain, pop from Evolve, and the t-shirt from, uh, we'll show it off again, for Counter-Strike. A nice kind of like retro t-shirt with a somewhat modern game. I appreciate it. I kind of like it. We'll see. Um, in the style of the old Nintendo game. So, uh, overall, cool box, especially for the price. Um, you know, I don't know if I would necessarily have dug it at like $30, but for the 10 bucks that it costs, I think it is well worth giving it a shot. Nothing else to see what else is out there. So whether or not we try the horror block um, at some point is uh, to mains to be seen since I'm not a huge horror fan, but this has been the arcade block from Nerd Block. You can check it out. Of course, we'll have a link underneath our uh, video, a nice affiliate link that you can click and help support our site, we do get a slight cut of the link. So by ordering through that, you help support our videos and our site. So appreciate if you do that. Uh, I'm Brett. This has been Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. You can catch us every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy. We keep it nice and consistent. So until next time, thanks for watching, and keep it geeky.